Okay, so good evening, class. Evening, ma'am. Good evening, po. Okay, so time check. It's already 9.44 p.m. in my clock, and it's, uh, it's too late for us to have a class today. So thank you for attending this class. Okay, so may I ask, how are you doing, Miss uh, Cheska first? Okay, so I just ate my dinner, so I'm my energy is replenished. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've used up the uh, energy all day. So now we ate dinner and we're quite uh, recharged. Okay, so what about you, Miss Jana? Uh, just like what Miss Cheska have said, I was also exhausted earlier but since i had my dinner my energy is replenished <laughs> okay so uh, that's why dinner is uh, really important because um it gives us the chance to recharge ourselves for us to sleep uh safe and sound okay so guys are you now ready for our discussion yes, yes okay so now um, let's start, okay? So, I will show you a conversation between a guest and a receptionist. So, the setting is at the ticket office. So, you guys will read this um, conversation. So, the guest will be Miss Cheska, and then the receptionist will be Miss Jana, okay? So, as you read the conversation, please take note of the um, questions being asked in this conversation, okay? So please observe how the question functions. Um, what are the information being asked in this uh, conversation, okay? So I ask you to um, prepare your uh, paper and uh, ball pen, okay? So that um, we may have this uh, activity. Okay, so uh, will you please start uh, reading the conversation? Please turn on your microphones. Okay, so you may now start. May I know how much a flight to London costs? A business class ticket to London is $600. An economy class ticket to London is $325. Do you know how many hours the flight takes? The flight duration is five hours. Could you tell me what time the plane departs? The plane departs at 1.45 p.m. Passengers must check in three hours before the flight. May I know what the baggage weight restriction is? The baggage weight restriction is 30 kilograms for business class and 15 kilograms for economy. Could you tell me if the meals will be served on flight? There is unlimited food and drink for business class passengers and one meal is served for economy class passengers. Okay, great. So, um, may I ask... Um, what are uh, they talking about? Uh, let us hear from Miss Jana. What are they talking about? Um, I guess they are talking about the things or the details when taking a flight to London. Okay, so as the conversation says, um, the conversation is about how to take a flight to London. Okay. So next, next question is, um, what does the or uh, what does the um, guest elicit from the receptionist by uh, asking questions? Uh, let us hear from Ms. Uh, Cheska. I think uh, the guest elicits answers on particularly pieces of information. Okay. So uh, the questions asked to the uh, receptionist um, requires or asks for an information, okay? So now um, I will read the conversation once again. 
So for you to jot down and for you to better understand the conversation, I will read it once again. So your task now is to um, have or um, um, find the information being um, asked in these questions. So we have five uh, questions in this conversation. So the first question is, um, may I know how much a flight to London costs? Okay, so um, the information being asked in this question is um, the price of a flight ticket. So that's what you will answer. Okay, in question number one, so I already gave the, the, um, the answer, so that will just be an example. So for the remaining questions, you will be the one to know what information is being asked in these questions. So let me read this uh, conversation once again for you to be focused, okay? So let me start. So the guest said, may I know how much a flight to London costs? So business class ticket to London is $600. An economy class ticket to London is $325. Do you know how many hours the flight takes? The flight duration is five hours. Could you tell me what time the plane departs? The plane departs at 1.45 p.m. Passengers must check in three hours before the flight. Okay, so next. May I know what the baggage weight restriction is? The baggage weight restriction is 30 kilograms for business class and 15 kilograms for economy. Could you tell me if the meals will be served on flight? There is unlimited food and drink for business class passengers and one meal is served for economy class passengers. Okay, so are you now done? Um, eliciting what information is being asked in these questions. Are you done? Ma'am, can you uh, try to go back to the past last page? Okay, okay. okay. So the first uh, page, you mean? Okay, so yes, let me okay. let me read it once again, okay? <laughs> let me read it slowly for you to better understand okay so i think it's kind of hard i'm so sorry okay so let me start once again may i know how much a flight to london costs a business class ticket to london is 600 dollars an economy class ticket to london is 325 dollars do you know how many hours the flight takes the flight duration is five hours. Could you tell me what time the plane departs? The plane departs at 1.45 p.m. Passengers must check in three hours before the flight. In the next page, may I know what the baggage weight restriction is? The baggage weight restriction is 30 kilograms for business class and 15 kilograms for economy. Could you tell me if the meals will be served on flight? There is unlimited food and drink for business class passengers and one meal is served for economy class passengers. Okay, so do you now all understand it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you. Okay, so uh, let us check your answers. So let us first hear from Ms. Uh, Jana. What are your uh, answers? Um, my answers for the question. Oh, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. The hours. Your your answer uh, in the first question, uh, in the second question, I mean. So you you do you know how many hours the flight takes? What is the information being asked there? So the hours of flight or the flight duration is five hours. Okay, so the the uh, information being asked is the hours of 
flight. Okay, fine. So in the third question, Miss Jessica, what is your answer? Okay, so for the question, could you tell me what time the plane departs? I think this question asks for the time time of plane where the plane departs or the time of plane departure okay that's great so um, it says here that uh, the plane departs at 1 45 p.m so that's the information being um, um presented and then the next question miss jana what is your answer so in the question, may I know what the baggage weight restriction is? The information being elicited is the baggage weight restriction. Okay. So the last question, Miss Jessica. Okay. For the question, could you tell me if the meals will be served on flight? This question asks about the meal on okay. flight will be eaten. Okay. Indeed. So um, if your answers are like uh, what I will present here, then you are correct. Okay. So the answers were um, price of flight ticket, which was what I said, um, hours of flight, time of plane departure, baggage weight restriction and meals on flight. So these type are uh, these kind of questions being asked by the guests um, elicits information. Okay. So information about um about the the inquiry that you have asked. Just like um the information about uh the flight to London. Okay. So these are some of the um, information that you need when you are going to have a flight to london so now let us move on to a new context okay so now i am going to play a video okay so what you're gonna do is um you have to uh listen to the video being presented and you have to jot down the questions being um asked okay so I will uh, repeat the video maybe two or three times for you to better understand it, okay? That clear? Yes, Paul. Okay, so let me uh, play the video now. Okay, so uh, the the speakers were quite a uh, fast uh, speakers, you know. <laughs> okay, so um, let me repeat the video once again. So please jot down the question, the questions being asked. Okay, because we will observe it. We will observe it later. So let me repeat it once again.
Okay, so would you like me to repeat it once again? Or is it uh, enough already? Um, can you please repeat it again? I did not <laughs> catch quite some parts of it. <laughs> okay, so let me repeat it for the last time, okay? I hope you understand it better, okay? Let me repeat it. Okay, is it enough now? Were you able to jot down the questions being asked? I think yes. Yes, <laughs> so it's kind of yeah. So it's kind of hard to understand, but please let us um uh, let us uh, catch up with these um uh, interview. Okay, so. What are your answers? What were the questions that uh, you have uh, elicited? Uh, let's hear from Ms. Uh, Cheska. I actually got three questions. <laughs> okay, first is, could you describe what your responsibilities were? And the second one is, could you tell us why you quit? <laughs> and the third one is the longest question, and it's, could you tell us why you would like to work for our company? Okay, great. So <laughs> you had three questions, okay? So uh, what about you, Miss Jana? Um, what are the uh, questions that you have uh, elicited from this uh, video? Um, it's the same from wh what I got. <laughs> It's the same from Ms. Cheska. So the first is, could you describe what your responsibilities were? And the other one is, can you tell us why you quit? And the next one is, could you tell us why you would like to work for our company? Okay, so you had the same answer because uh, we watched the same video, obviously. Okay, <laughs> so next... <laughs> So next is let us um, let us see the questions being asked in the um, first scene, which is the ticket office. So the so these are the questions that um, um, we have observed. So let me read it. May I know how much a flight to London costs? Do you know how many hours the flight takes? Could you tell me what time the plane departs? May I know what the baggage weight restriction is? Could you tell me if the meals will be served on flight? And then, just like uh, what you have said, so these are these were the questions being uh, asked in the second um, second context, which is the um, job interview. So first is, could you describe what your responsibilities were? Can you tell us why you quit? Could you tell us why you would like to work for our company? Okay, so from these questions, so may I ask, uh, Miss, uh, may I ask the both of you first? Okay, so this uh, this is my question first. So, um, what are your observations regarding the questions? So these two sets of questions. What are your observations from this? Um, when it comes to the context, to the form, and to the uh, approach as well. So, um, may I first hear from Ms. Arjana? Um, based on my observation, the two scenes which were from, um, which are 
at the ticket office and the next one is at a job interview these two scenes are at a formal setting okay so um these okay so when it comes to the context so you are right miss jana so the first one at the ticket office and the second one at the job interview so these um type of setting were um formal okay where we talk to uh, people who are not uh, who we do not know personally so it is called a formal setting okay so what about you miss jessica what are your or what is your observation about this um type of questions um i observe that uh when it comes to the form i could say that the question is the questions are kind of complete or should i say the one that we use in the formal context or maybe in the academe or in the corporate field and it does not sound personal or informal as well okay so um yes you are right so when it comes to the form um uh, these questions were not the questions that we can ask to our mother that we can ask to our siblings or we can ask to our friends okay so maybe this type of or not maybe but um actually this type of questions um are the questions that we can ask to uh the the higher ups with the authority okay or maybe the people we do not know okay so the the uh, people who needs to be respected because um considering the setting we are in formal setting okay so the um those were some of your observations so uh when it comes to the uh approach what do you say uh, about that um let us hear once again from miss jana um when it comes to approach the questions were asked in a polite way and i agree to what miss jessica have said earlier that it does not sound personal okay so just like what i said uh, these type of questions were not the type of questions that you would ask to someone close to you so maybe if you're gonna ask someone close to you maybe you will just um, shout at them like hey what are you doing are you free tonight yeah, just like that but uh these type of questions were not like what i have just said so um these questions were asked yep in a polite way because um indeed it is used in formal context or formal setting okay so when we consolidate this uh observations that we had now i will introduce to you um our topic or should I say what type of questions are these uh, questions being presented? So we call this type of questions indirect questions, okay? So based on your observation, so we will have the uh, definition here. So Ms. Uh, Cheska, please read the definition. Indirect questions are more polite than direct questions. They are very common in formal spoken English, particularly when asking for information. Okay, so um, so the first uh, point here is more polite. So the one who said uh, more polite, um, who said more polite, uh, it's Miss uh, Jana. Okay, Miss Jana said that uh, these questions were asked in a polite way so indeed indirect questions are more polite than direct questions so um, in here direct questions and direct questions so these are the questions that um um that is used uh, in informal setting or it is used when you're talking to someone close to you but our topic for today is about indirect questions which is indeed more polite okay than direct questions next 
point is they are very common in formal spoken English, just like the two settings or the two contexts that we have discussed, which is first the um, at the ticket office and then the second one is at the job interview. So we call those contexts or those settings as formal, just like what um, who said that maybe Miss Jessica, which is used in formal setting. Particularly when asking for information. OK, so. Uh, um, the at the ticket office, we are uh, the guest asked for information about the flight to London, about uh, the process on how to take a flight to London. OK, that's an information already. And then at the second context, the uh, there's a job interview. OK, so the employer is asking for information about the employee, like uh, why should we uh, like the reasons why should we hire you just like that. OK, so um, in indirect questions, we have these patterns. OK, so the pattern is Miss Jana, will you please read the pattern? The pattern of indirect questions is first opening phrase plus question word plus subject plus verb. OK, so let me repeat. So the pattern is opening phrase plus question word plus subject plus verb. Miss Cheska, will you please repeat the pattern for indirect questions? The pattern for indirect questions is opening phrase plus question word plus subject plus verb. OK, so now that we know already the pattern, so let me um. Let me share to you some phrases for indirect questions. OK, so some of the phrases that um, were used um, a while ago in our uh, in uh, the examples in the text uh, presented were. Um, could you tell me? Do you know? OK, so the other examples were. Um, do you have any idea? Would it be possible? Is there any chance? Would you mind? OK, so let us remember that um, when we are constructing indirect questions, we should use first the opening phrase, OK, just like uh, just like these examples and then followed by a question word, followed by a subject and followed by a verb. Please remember that the subject uh, when it comes to indirect questions, the subject comes before the verb. OK, let us not be confused. So now your um, your task is this is your last uh, activity. This is your last task for this lesson. So you are required or you will be asked to make um, indirect questions based on these um, based on the opening phrases that I have provided. OK, so um, I will give you um, three minutes. Wait, let me set the time. So yeah, I will give you three minutes for you to construct. Um, let us say uh, construct two. Construct two indirect questions. OK, so timer starts now.
Okay, time's up. So are you now done? Listing or creating yes, in the red questions? Okay, yes, so Miss yes. Jana is done. Miss Jessica is done as well. So Miss, uh, let us first hear uh, Miss Jessica's answers. I think you're muted, Miss Jessica. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. The worst question is, I think. So I will use the do you know? Okay. Page. Do you know where the Rojas Hall is? That's my first question. <laughs> okay. And so for the second question, I will also. I will also use the do you know? <laughs> do you know who the president of the university is? Okay, so you like the opening <laughs> phrase, do you know, huh? Yes, yes that's my favorite opening phrase. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let us first, uh, uh, would you tell your first question again, please? Okay, do you know where the Rojas Hall is? Okay, so so from your from your uh, question, will you please locate where is the, the opening phrase, where is the question word, where is the subject, where is the verb there in your question? So the opening phrase is, do you know? Okay. Where is the question word? Rojas mm -hmm. Hall is the subject, is the is okay. verb. Okay, so you're right. So... Uh, Miss Jana, does Miss Jessica follow the uh, pattern with what she said? Yes, po. Okay, so you got the approval of Miss Jana, Miss Jessica. Okay, so will you please uh, tell your second uh, question? Okay, my second question is, do you know who the president of the university is? Okay, so you are asking for the information about who the president of the university is. Okay, so will you please locate once again the patterns for the indirect questions that we had? Okay, so do you know who, uh, do you know is the opening phrase? Yep. Who is the question word? The president of the university is the subject and is, is the verb. Okay, so you're right. You're well done, Miss Jessica. You now know how to make uh, indirect questions, okay? So next, <laughs> next, Miss uh, Jana, let us hear your answers. My answers are, the first question is, could you tell me why you were late? And the second is, do you have any idea why she is acting like that? Okay, so the second question is kind of uh, intriguing, like, all right, okay, so <laughs> so the first question, let us uh, examine your uh, answer. So would you please tell your question once again, but the first question, the first one. The first question is, could you tell me why you were late? Okay, so will you please locate the patterns that uh, we had? And so the, op the opening phrase is, could you tell me? The question word is why, subject is you, and the verb is where. Okay, so you're right. Okay, So, Miss um, Cheska, is, uh, um, is Miss Jana correct on what she said? I think she is correct. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So, the opening phrase is, could you tell me? And then the open, uh, the question word is why. Subject is you. Verb is where. Okay. So, you're yeah, right. And then, so, the next question, will you please tell us, Miss Jana? What's your next question? The second question is, do you have any idea why she is acting like that? Okay, so um, will you please locate the um, patterns once again? 
the opening phrase is do you have any idea the question word is why the subject is she and the verb it is is okay so here you are, you are um right oh wait i, I think um you now used the uh, opening phrase do you have any idea which were not used um, a while ago okay so that's good one and then the question word is why the subject is she and then the verb is um is acting okay so that's the that's the verb okay so is that noted miss uh jana yes but thank you for correcting me okay so let us please um have a virtual clap for ourselves so you did great for this for this night you did great for this night okay so once again let me uh sum it up let me summarize so indirect questions are used in a formal context most commonly okay so indirect questions are used to um ask information and indirect questions are more polite when um when it comes to approach than direct questions okay so miss jessica will you please um um repeat the patterns the pattern for making uh, indirect questions for indirect question is the opening phrase the question word the subject and the verb okay miss jana will you please repeat my or what miss jessica has said so the pattern for indirect question is opening phrase plus question word plus subject plus a verb okay great so now that uh, we have known the, um the use of indirect questions its pattern how to create it and um where or um, where is it, it used so i hope that um you have learned something in our uh, discussion for today about uh indirect questions okay so um let uh see you on our next class okay i i had a great time with you guys so uh goodbye and good night okay so peace i hope you will uh have a good night and sleep well <laughs> Bye, Thank guys. you, Bye. 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 Bye.